everyone welcome back to my channel so today i want to do a video uh review on my alma bb in epi leather and in the color um uh, piv one um i was requested by i'm so sorry i forget i forgot your name but um i will put your name down in the description box uh below um and she was actually saying um in um, one of my older bag hauls um, that she wanted the exact same color and size, so um, I want to do a review um, for her for this on this bag, and um, I love this bag a lot. It's very hard wearing. Um, I can wear this in the rain, snow, and not feel bad about this bag because it'll easily wipe off and it's scratch resistant so you won't see any scratches or anything on the bag i am no way um like too careful with this bag obviously sometimes with the corners because people will because it tends to um so this is my body and this will tend to like come out um, like kind of duck out a little bit on my body and people will naturally just hit the corners of this bag or I will bump into something and the corners will bump into that um, thing so sometimes it can get dirty but um, I will when I get home I'll get um, a damp non-alcoholic um, scent free um, baby wipe cloth and I'll just wipe it off and it'll come off instantly so it's um, very forgiving and it has four silver studs as the feet on the bag, um, just to um, basically give, um, you know, some extra leverage to the bag. And uh, recently I fell, I tripped, and um, the bag did get scratched. So on the top here, it did get scratched a little bit here, and it did get... A little dent in there but luckily it was just the bottom of the bag so you can't see it at all and um, it's very discreet I mean you see it from here you can't see it at all but if you're like totally up close and personal with it you can totally see um, the little scratches but it is hard wearing it's um, very forgiving um, as well and the silver hardware just makes it look more younger, more fun, and um, because I wear, I or I only own silver hardware, this goes perfectly well with um, with my jewelry, and this is a very summery bag. Um, um, I you could wear this basically in the fall winter as well. Depends up to you, but um, I prefer in the spring summer. Um, so I'll show you the interior of the handbag, and it is in this microfiber um, lining here with only one little flat pocket here. There's no pockets there. And it's the same color as the exterior, so it's there's no like different colors or anything. Um, and inside the pocket here, it does have the date code in here. Um, I can't really show it to you because um, this pocket is very tight. It doesn't really stretch that well, and if I do tug on it, it does tug on the lining, so I don't want to do that very often. I don't really put so much stuff in here. I, um, I will only put, like, cards or paper in here. That's basically about it. And um, it does come, as you can see, little webbing here just to... Um, hold the bag together and so that nothing falls out of your handbag as you unzip this as well so I'll show you what can fit um, usually with this handbag um, I will I will be very compact so I will grab my little um, Chanel card case here it is in patent leather I use this as my wallet so I will have my work pass my credit cards debit some points card that I know I will be using throughout the day, um, and health insurance card, um, you know, all the important cards in here as well. So I will put that in here, and if there is so much space left, the bottom of the bag here. So I will get my 
mini pochettes in um and use so this is the mini pochette in the uh, monogram print with the trunks edition printing on it and usually i'll just have like i'll fill this up to the rim but right now i don't um i have i'll usually put lip gloss um some candy um and some other miscellaneous lip glosses in here um or lipstick so that goes in here and sometimes i will put extra cards in here if they don't all fit in my um in my card case so I'll just put that beside my card case there, like so. Like so, so there is so much space up here and a lot more in on, uh, next to it as well. So I will put actually my key pouch in the monogram and I'll have my keys in here. Um, I don't have my, my bus pass in here, but I will have my bus pass in here. And I do have a hair clip in here, but it's very, very thin. Um, so I'll put that just right in front of my mini pochette here. So mini pochette, the, um, sorry, the key pouch, the mini pochette, and my Chanel card case. And if I want to fit more or, you know, I want more easy access, I'll put like another lip gloss. This is the Dior Lip Glow. And I'll just put that right in there so there is so much space in here um I, I think this is probably all that i would fit in here um an umbrella would not fit in here at all it is just too small um the bag is too small um oh and i would also put my my phone in here but i'm using my phone to film this video so um it would fit in here so upright it would fit so vertical it would fit so i would put that just right here and then if I zip that up, fits perfectly. N the zipper isn't, um, you know, crooked or anything. It is fully straight. It is very, very light. And um, so it's that. And I'll, sh I'll, I'll put this on also with... Um, with the long strap it comes with it's a matching strap it is not adjustable it is just a strap with like the lobster claw key or um thing here so i will hook it just to here where the handle is and then same to the back here And I usually wear this as a crossbody, so I'll show you a little bit. Um, so you can't really see. Uh, maybe you can see there. So, as you can see, it it fits just at the hip, at my hip here. Um, for reference, I am five foot four and a half. Um, so it does fit and it does jut out so as you can see it does jut out a little bit here if you can see that but that's how far I can um, back up but it is very light um, I'll show you swell crook of my arm here and then just like handbag on my hand it is um, perfect size actually for that, um, for what I um, am holding in here. And I'll show you um, what fits inside with a regular size wallet. And it does fit in um, like any type of size wallet, but you do have to be careful um, with like with how much stuff you actually want, or if you're how much stuff you're comfortable in the with carrying inside this bag with a large wallet so this i'm i'm gonna be using my chanel l zip wallet it is um it's almost like a compact wallet it's 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 more of like on the larger side of a of a wallet but um it is very thick so um it does 
um, get, um, use up more space. So I'll just put that in here and it does fit very well. So you do have a little bit more space in here. Um, I will put my, my mini pochette in there as well. Fits in there quite nicely. So there is a little bit more room. I can probably fit my phone in here as well. I'll put my um, key pouch in here. So just behind my wallet there. Oops. Sorry. Just behind my wallet here. Um, so you can see there. I'll put a lip gloss in here. And then I'll probably put my phone in there. But if I want to put another card case in there, it won't exactly fit. I mean, it can fit on top. But once you start to close it, it'll get... It, as you can see, I can't really zip it up um, all that nicely inside. So it's already like starting to pucker a little bit. So I can zip it up, but as you can see, it makes the the zipper or the top of the bag kind of crooked. So I am very uncomfortable with that because I don't want this leather to start to crack or anything. So I won't use an additional card case. Um, the the large my a large Chanel wallet has um, six or uh, twelve compartments, so uh, card compartments. So I will be able to fit in all that, but. Just for reference, so I took out my card case and I have the same items in here. Key pouch, my um, Chanel L-Zip wallet and my and my uh, mini pochette and um, my Dior lip glow. And I would also put my cell phone in here as well, my iPhone 6 in there and zip it up. So here it is zipped up. I'm actually quite comfortable with this. Um, there's a lot of room at the top here. So you can see um, it does hold quite a lot um, for a small bag. It looks like it can't hold very much, but it does hold um, comfortably of stuff that I am usually okay with. I mean, it just depends how much stuff you are comfortable to pack inside the handbag. It is not um, a handbag that I would say can hold everything in there. It can't hold an 11 by 17 paper at all unless you fold it. It is purely um, a casual bag to go out shopping or something or just to hold your, your essentials, not to hold like, like, everything that you need in a day like more than um like a wallet and some some keys and some lipsticks um and stuff like that it won't hold like an umbrella a full-size document it won't hold shoes it won't um unless all of those things are very compact so i highly recommend this to um anyone who is a comfortable light packer not so much a person who is very comfortable with large size handbags like the Chanel um, GST and if you think that the Chanel GST doesn't hold as much stuff as you want this is definitely not the bag for you if you want to um, if you think that the Chanel GST um, is too big for all the stuff that you usually have then usually this is um, perfect perfectly okay um i say for you as well so um if you have any other questions about this bag please leave in the comments below if i've missed something please leave in the comments below and i will get right back to you and um i hope everyone has a great day or night wherever you are thanks everyone